Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon. So first off and foremost, this I guess you can say is a Christmas episode. Uh, I did a lot of changes to the scenery and you guys can't really tell yet. Uh, yeah, maybe you might be able to tell, but I'm going to show you guys what happened in a second, what I did to the island and stuff. But first of all, I got so carried away that I started working on basically the next episode. This is kind of like what I want the next episode to be about is a train track, a train station that leads all the way to the other uh, other village and just other stuff. But I will talk about that later. Um, first and foremost, what we have to do is we have to take out a couple cows uh, so I can show you guys my area. I will say though, for some reason, it seems like my computer is taking a hit, man. It's, it might be the 1080p 60 FPS that I haven't been rocking for a while. But I think, I think we're good on food. I think we have enough food. So let's put that in there. And I want to show you guys the Christmas Wonderland, what I've, what I've been working on, and uh, kind of how you guys can make it in your world. So as you can already tell, maybe you guys see some snow. And you guys might be like, eh, I don't really see snow yet. Now is it coming? Now is it more prevalent that I, that I went kind of crazy? Here you go, boys and, and girls, obviously. But I changed out this whole area. Changed out this whole area, made an ice rink, added like snow across everything. And I'm going to show you guys how I did it. And I'm going to talk about the process because this process, oh man, it was like three hours. It was like literally three hours. And I recorded about an hour of it. And then I literally continued to play Minecraft for like another hour or two to basically polish it up. But uh, this is what my backyard looks like now. So there's snow, there's snow on the roof. Um, basically... You need to do parkour, you need to use ender pearls, you need to use scaffolding uh, to make sure you get snow on like on like these uh, like these branches and stuff. Um, and then these are sensors, uh, nighttime sensors. So they only turn on at night and then unfortunately it always melts the snow right here or the ice. Um, I think there is ice that you can get to where it won't melt. I want to say it's packed ice, but I have no idea where that is in my world. Um, so yeah, and then this is all the snow that I collected. So I use two different pickaxes. This Silk Touch one, you can use this to pick up uh, like one of these flakes. So you can pick up one of the flakes. Uh, I, I guess that's what you can call it. You can pick up like a flake of snow, I guess, like a land piece of snow. That's what uh, the Silky uh, picked uh, blah, 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 shovel is good for. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while, obviously. And then the diamond shovel, this one is good for getting snowballs. And you might be like, well, why do you need snowballs? Uh, let me sh let me show you uh, basically how to, how to change your world, okay? So first and foremost, you're going to need a pumpkin, okay? Uh, let's see. Do I have a pumpkin that's already sheared? It does not look like it, okay? So you need a pumpkin, and you need to make a two of them. And then you need a shear, which I don't have right now. So I'm going to go get shears. I feel like I'm lagging probably because there's so many animals right here. That could be it. But anyways, two blocks. It doesn't really matter. Like, honestly, if you really wanted to. Oh, I might have messed up. Mm, no, I'm still good. I still got snow. But honestly, even if you wanted to, you can build them sideways. And then you do that. And you just got to make sure you shear his head. And then there you go. But I am going to kill him right now because I don't want snow in this area. I just don't feel like it fits in. Uh, but basically, two blocks of snow, and then you want a carved head, a carved pumpkin head. And then he can spawn, and then it's a snow golem, and you can move him around, and he can make the little snowflakes uh, on the ground, or like snow sheets, whatever you want to call it. For the most part, the golems did 90% of the ground, okay? Maybe I did a little bit here and there, but they did most of the ground that you guys can see right here. I don't know if I have any more. I think... Pretty much once they got an area looking pretty good, then I killed them. And see, I don't really like it right here because this is like uh, like normal Minecraft terrain, but here is more like a taiga biome. So like here, it, it should snow. Like it should actually snow whenever it's rainy and it's, it's snowy, you know, but it just doesn't happen in this area. So basically, you know, to get snow up here, you have to jump from like on top of here or ender pearl or something. And then you have to place snow sheets up there. Uh, in order to get snow in all the in all these places and I make it look like the area actually got snowed on and To show you guys where I originally got 
the very first snow, because as you guys know, the, the taigo biome, there is no snow at all in, in my biome. Uh, I had to go to the very top of the mountain, and yeah, basically right here, I probably placed at least 20 golems, at least 20 ice golems. I did some of it in the video, I showed some of you guys, but I'm like, man, do I really want to edit it, an hour-long video and show you guys the process? Not really. I mean, you guys don't want to watch snow golems go around, you know, it's just... It, it would have been a kind of a boring episode, so I just wanted to make a quick little summary and a quick little like update to my world. But yeah, there's one of the golems that still survived. Uh, some of them fell into the lava. Some of them got pushed into lava. I don't know how that happened. Uh, it was qu quite sad, really. And then in order for me to get those little ice cubes at the ice rink, uh, basically you need to go mountain top level, like super high up, like find a tall mountain in your world. And I got lucky. There was already like a little pond up here. Uh, about half this area was covered in stone. So I opened it up for the most part. So I can have this huge reservoir uh, of basically ice. And in order to pick the ice, uh, you need silk touch. Which I don't have silk touch on any of these axes. So I can't really show you guys. And yeah, then I made a nice little igloo. So I don't know. I guess I'll just keep the snow golems up here. Since they're so far away from me, I don't think mobs are going to spawn up here and, and attack them. Um, but as you guys can tell, you can move these guys around and, you know, they can put snow in areas. Uh, and then, of course, you can also do this if you stand still for a second. You can mass produce snow uh, just by him standing still. I know there's, like, ways you can trap them in a box. But honestly, like, the method that I just did, like, I made so many snowballs. Um... But you don't get the snow sheets from this. All you get is snow blocks, like snow cubes, I guess. And you could use this like to texturize the area. So like as you guys can tell, there's some depth to the snow. So that's kind of what I did in, uh, in like my little, I don't know, in my little village, I guess you can call it. So then you got like these uh, these areas where like there's some texture on the side. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I think that's basically it for what I've been doing. Uh, okay, I don't really like the look of that. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's basically what I did in terms of my area. Uh, any tree that you see that has like snow on top of it, I had to jump on top of that tree and place snow there. Um, but for the most part, the golems did most of the ground. Uh, and just placing one golem, it's not going to work. It, it's, it's just not going to work. So it was basically a combination of, you know, farming him like as much as I can farming this farming pumpkins making you know little cubes out of them and then placing them every everywhere I went so and yeah uh, if I were to give you guys a number how many golems it was it's probably about 30 golems um, that it took to literally make all of this I thought I was accidentally gonna trip and, and fall in lava and then yeah then I made this this little igloo here and funny enough as soon as I finished it uh, one of the golems came in and put snow all over the floor. So, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. But, uh, I don't know, is that it for the video? I mean, I can give you guys, like, a quick little tour of, like, this area. But I, I think it looks cool because, like, uh, it looks like snow, like a snowstorm came off of the mountain or something. Or, like, there's an avalanche or something. And the snow came all down here. And it got, like, my village. And it, it's nice because it adds some... Uh, character i don't know it, it, it looks more like a taiga biome as opposed to before i i don't even remember how to get in i i made this uh because there wasn't even a door here it's actually just wall 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 and then you can go up here but i made this um because i wanted to keep getting access to like the ice that was up there because that's the only ice that will grow like on on a tall enough mountain but yeah and then i put the golems on here and then for the most part if they were standing right here and they were putting snow, then I would try to hit two blocks at once to get the most amount of uh, snow blocks. But as you guys can tell, I did. I tried to do my best in terms of uh, like separating the biomes and uh, putting snow in the correct biome. Because as you guys can tell, I mean, it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. There's no reason to be any snow right here. So any golems that that try to go further, uh, as you guys can see right here, they unfortunately made their end because right here. This is where I stopped making the snow, and yeah, if a golem tried to go further, I would, I would uh, eliminate him. I guess you can say, unfortunately, it is a sad, sad time to be a snow golem. But yeah, it was a pretty fun project. 
Um, I think it. I think it came out pretty well. I think it. I am definitely going to enjoy playing in this world uh, for the next few months. You know, in this winter theme. I just don't know that when winter's over, if I'm going to want to remove it and how I'm going to be able to remove it because, yeah, it's it's going to take a while. It's definitely going to take a while because, like, if I wanted to get rid of this, for example, uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to destroy the entire blocks. I'm going to bring up dirt. It's just it's going to be a mess. So I might just keep it, honestly, and uh, just let it continue for the time being. But, yeah, that's basically the changes I've done to my world so far um in terms of uh you know snow and like a winter like christmas theme um and a lot of the snow golems as you guys will notice uh they tend to fight mobs so one of the things and they will fight creepers they will fight anything so m my biggest tip for you because there's a few areas uh over in like my backyard area like the wilderness there's a few areas that have been blown up by creepers. So my advice to you is if you're doing this over the course of a couple hours trying to like change your taiga biome or just biome in general, uh, I would say... Oh, it's about to become nighttime. Uh, I would say sleep <laughs> whenever it becomes nighttime. Because as you can tell, yeah, the golems unfortunately met their end. And then they added probably at least like four or five craters in my backyard in like the wilderness or whatever and it's not a big deal because it's not like i go back there or anything but i would say about a quarter of the golems that i spawned it seemed like they fought a creeper and lost so yeah there's that but with that said thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new i guess because i was really looking for like a filler episode because the woodland mansion you know that was a good like little uh good little like boss level or whatever oh this is never gonna look good now but yeah, it was a good little like boss level and I don't know, now I wanted to have a couple of videos where like I take it easy or whatever and this is one of those videos where I just work on building and improving my world and the train station, that's probably going to be the next video. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.